with Superstar. Well, our rival networks and the our rivals have completed three out of five preliminary events. So far, NBC is way out in front with 105 points. There's still a battle brewing for second place with Fox and CBS tied at 55. At least they're going the speed limit. And ABC right on their tail. They once led with 50 points. And our next event offers a whole different way to score. Indeed it does. It's our superstar American Gladiators variation on an old favorite called Twister. <laughs> and it should look familiar. We've got four mats and four teams with Jeff Altman spinning in as our Twister Meister. And if you don't remember how to play, it's simple. Jeff spins and you do what he says. Left foot on red. Directions like right hand on red and left foot on yellow sound easy. But it's easier to lose your balance. The first team that hits the mat is out of the game and gets five points. The second team to go down gets ten points. The third gets fifteen, and the last team standing gets a big twenty points. I, I played this game with my wife when I was fifteen and she was twelve, and now we have four children, and it's all because of Twister. So look out, anything can happen. <laughs> CBS was first to fall as Charlie Robinson just couldn't keep his uh, end up. I told you to keep that butt up. I know this isn't my best, my best angle. I have one foot. Left hand blue. I'll give like a hand signal. All right, ABC. A, B, C. Okay, folks. Right foot on green. And that turned out to be the wrong move for Tina Yothers. She stepped out of bounds and took her NBC team down with her. But she says they can handle the pain. Oh no, fuck! We can, but we can also stand to lose a couple points here. We kind of we're up there in the, in the point system, so. We say we, we all of them just fall together. We split the points. Left hand on blue. Look at that. That's not fair. You can't do that, Marshall Warfield. I got her. You can't swat her. I got her. Get back, duck. Hey. Okay, folks. Oh my God. Left foot on red. Left foot on red. Right Easy, Baldy. These guys are going down right now. Hey, she's falling. Go down right now. Yes, she is. She's falling. Yeah. Yeah. But Fox did finally go down, and ABC went up to victory in Twister, taking home a huge 20 points. So at the completion of Twister, ABC for 20 points, Fox got 15, NBC got 10, and CBS came in with 5. Let's take a look now at our leaderboard totals. NBC still ahead, followed by a tie with ABC and Fox, and in fourth, CBS. But here's where they could catch up now. Kim is at our next location, and pray tell Kim, what are we playing next? Thanks, Pat. It's really hot, and so is the competition at Universal Studios Hollywood today. Here's a chance for our rival teams to make points and to cool off. It's a game that has nothing to do with basketball, but it does have some slam dunk involved. It's called Cool Joust, and to tell us about it, here's Jeff. Thanks, Kim. Well, finally an event I'm really good at. Vision. I'm above this menacing pool of water with my mighty weapon, ready to face my opponent, Siren the Impaler. Each team captain has picked two people to represent the network. We'll have four timed heats, and if you dump your opponent, well, you get 20 points. But if you get dumped, you only get five. If both jousters are not in the water after one minute, each team gets 10 points. I'm going to clout young Siren so hard. I'll slap her past payday. I'll hit her so hard by the time she stops rolling, her clothes will be out of style. Hi, hi. Here I come. I believe all of them go swim on this one. Oh, God, she's going to kill me. Preparing for heat one of the pool jowls with David Goldsmith of Fox going up against NBC's Drake Hogeston. From Days of Our Lives, he is the only competitor today who's actually been a professional athlete. He was drafted by the New York Yankees. And nothing they can throw at him today scares him except perhaps going up against that gladiator. Oh, no, not afraid of heights. Kind of afraid of that girl up there, though. 
On the soap, he's been searching for his identity for years. It's become clear to me that being a priest must have meant a great deal to me. Well, let's see if his prayers are answered today as we get set for Heat 1 of the Joust with Drake Hogeston going up against Fox's David Goldsmith and referee Larry will get us started. This is an event you really have to keep on your toes. And out of the water. <laughs> ah! Oh, he kept out of the water right there. Certainly did. He's okay, but NBC only gets five points, and Fox gets 20 points. The yellow line. And here's another number. It's 90 degrees. Maybe that's why he went in. Fox wins. Already an interesting development in that the winner is the one who got wet here. You okay? How you feeling? Here he is, out, out from the crowd. You know, I told you that water smelled funny. No way I was going in. <laughs> First of all, let's get an injury update. You went right into the crowd. How are you? Well, you know, that's my, that's my son over there and my daughter, and I just want to say hi to him clo up close, tell him I was all right. How about you? You said going into Ken that you had a secret plan. Uh, was that it? No, no, I was going to... Uh, I have underwear on under here. I was going to drop trail, go out my underwear, do a little comedy scene, but it wasn't necessary. I'm surprised. Congratulations. And at the top of Heat 2, we have ABC's Darius McCreary going against Shadow Stevens from CBS. All right, come on out. Shadow Stevens brings a background as an expert in martial arts to today's game. Not being too aggressive and yet being aggressive within. And he plays a black belt womanizer on Dave's World. Why can't women leave things alone? It starts with moving in together. Then she'll want to get married. Then there'll be kids. He calls himself an average tennis player. Others call him a very good swimmer. And that ability may come in handy today. We'll see if Shadow needs a black belt or a life preserver as he goes against ABC's Darius McCrary in Heat 1. Psych each other out early here. <laughs> Looks like he's having trouble standing up. Or keeping a straight face. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh! Both of them in the drink. <laughs> and a thirst-quenching 20 points for ABC. Woo! ABC. <laughs> I thought you were kind of toying with him at the beginning. I was just chilling. I wanted to see how I, I wanted to see what was going on. Both chilling now. Is this a strategy that you have? Well, pal, I said to Darius, I said, now look, now he's going to get out there, just stare him down and scare him. He did it. He went in the water first. Well, Hawk was right. It did work, but now it's the ladies' turns. Heat three between NBC's Marsha Warfield and Fox's Jensen Daggett. She's from Medicine Ball, and she snow skis, water skis, and was an award-winning swimmer in school, and she's a ruthless competitor. I'll cheat. I don't care. Anything it takes, I will cheat. Nine centimeters. Her television role as a surgeon puts her a cut above the competition today. Twelve. I've watched so many surgeries because of my show that if anything happens, I just might try to step in. Just watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jensen seems ready here in Heat 3, but it, well, it looks like Marsha is having some trouble getting out on that beam. They get over the yellow line there. You're all right. Couple more. Take another two. You're all right. Marsh, one more. Afraid of heights. I told this earlier. Afraid of heights? I think she's afraid of getting her jewelry wet. Five, ready? Well, that didn't take long, and Fox gets a well-needed 20 points. And she's the first winner who has not wound up in the water. Congratulations. Good job. <laughs> was, was this your strategy? Didn't take very long, about seven seconds. I just thought if I can just hold my balance and just hit her maybe twice in the same direction that she would go, and it worked. How was your balance? I have to say, my knees are still shaking. I had to be the aggressor in this one. She had to. I had to be the aggressor. Yeah. I did it. I'm happy. one who hasn't come up with, so congratulations. And we'll see you a little bit later. Now, where's Marsha? You okay? Yeah. What happened? I failed. We, we talked it over. Uh, she wants a rematch. You want a rematch? No. <laughs>